Here's a quick way to look at sizing different contracts. So I've got a three, four year backtest uh, run on Portfolio Strategy Analyzer from Robot Lab. And I've just got it on four of these NASDAQ bots that I've optimized out for. But we can see that we have a $2,600 max drawdown with a 1,500 profit per month. So really good ratios already. But if we take a look at the max drawdowns, we can see that these different contracts aren't balanced. For example, Day Trader 47, which is this blue one down here, probably the best performance curve, is actually the lowest profit, and we also have the lowest drawdown here. So one thing that I would consider is sizing up these two lowest drawdown contracts uh, to what you're seeing as an average in the other two. So you actually have some parity in the different strategies you're running. So if I just go over here and size this up, so I have three day trader 47 contracts, so 1500 max drawdown and two of my early birdies, so 1800 right in the middle of my larger two drawdown strategies. Let's see what that performance looks like. And I just added up some extra contracts. It looks like we have them all added um, just to get a little parity. And where before the ratio of profit per month to max drawdown was about 0.58, here we are 2.4 over 3.5. We're looking at a 0.68 ratio between profit per month and max drawdown. So real improvement with in terms of the uh, metrics or ratios between these two, just by increasing the contract size to be on parity, uh, something you should consider when you are looking at sizing up your contracts for trading a portfolio.